Morning YouTube, I just woke up. Uh, it is the first day of the reading rush. I got up early so that I could be fully awake before I do a live stream at 10 o'clock in the morning where I'm just going to sit and read on camera. That's what the live stream is because I feel like anytime I do sprints or that type of thing, I spend way more time focusing on like tweeting about the sprints than I do actually reading. So I want to have like a solid couple hours where I'm just encouraging people to just sit and get the reading done. So that's my plan. I also have some things I want to do before then. I would like to put on a better top because this is what I slept in. I'd like to make some coffee, maybe have some breakfast. And I think I'll also do Chase reading for the me and white supremacy read along um, just to get that out of the way because that's something I'm running over the first 28 days of July. So I just want to make sure that I do that work today before I move on to actually completing my TBR for the reading rush. This morning is going to be The Duchess Deal by Tessa Dare, which is my first Tessa Dare book. I'm very excited for it. But it's my priority because I only have it for another couple of days from my library app and then it automatically gets returned. So I need to read it first. But if I wanted to have it during the readathon, I needed to take it out then. Otherwise, somebody else would take it out. It wouldn't be available. Library holds are a whole thing that I go through when I'm trying to figure out what to read for readathons. I do have about 50 minutes before my live stream starts, so part of me wants to just go sit on the front step and start reading A Beautifully Foolish Endeavor because I have been waiting so long for this book and I really, really need to know what's going to happen in it, and it's my book that I need to read outside of the house. So I'm thinking I'm going to do that because I believe it's shady out there and it's definitely not shady out the back and it is too hot. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get some of that listened to before I start the live stream. All right, it's quarter two, so I'm back inside. I went pee, I refreshed my coffee. I'm gonna get a cold drink out of the fridge because it's a little too hot in here, but that's fine. Um, I'm really enjoying A Beautifully Foolish Endeavor so far. I really am enjoying the different perspectives, so that is making me very happy. Charging my phone a little bit because most of my reading is on my phone. There's only, I think, one book I'm reading this week that is not on my phone, so I'm charging that so that it doesn't have to be charging while I'm doing the live stream. And uh, yeah, there's already some people waiting, which is very exciting for me. So I've got a few people telling me what they're reading and a few people waiting, and uh, very soon I will click over to StreamYard and I will start the stream. 
So I just decided to open up the book, make sure it was working properly on my phone from the lab, from the library app. And I read the dedication of the book and it's dedicated to her dad who is nothing like the dad that's in this book. Apparently that dad's not gonna be a good time. Um, but she's like, thanks dad, this book's for you. And then she <laughs> follows that up with, please don't read chapters 7, 9, 11, 17, 19, 21, and 28. So I guess I know exactly where all the smut is in this book. I'm gonna go live in like seven seconds. <laughs> I'm excited. I got this to read. I'm gonna do the thing. The one thing that I definitely didn't do in preparation for this week is like buy a bunch of food so I don't have to think about food. So I have no idea what I'm gonna feed myself, but I'm gonna feed myself and then get back into reading. Probably not in the exact same spot because I need to be back there for five o'clock for quarantine pages. So I'll give myself a little bit of a break from being exactly in that same place. It is many hours later and the house is so hot that sitting in it sucks. So I've come into the backyard where it's shady and slightly less sucky warm. Uh, I finished the Duchess deal, which was fantastic, would recommend, and now I'm going to move on to the shortest thing on my TBR, which is called I Am Not Your Final Girl. It's a collection of poems about final girls. It sounds great. Okay, so I finished that, which means I've read about 500 pages today, which is pretty good. I might do a little bit more just because I like to keep up the momentum on the first day, but who knows. That wasn't really for me. It was poems based on female characters in horror movies many of which I hadn't seen, so I couldn't connect to the poems because automatically I'd go like, oh, I haven't even seen this one, so am I gonna connect? Probably not. And then I'd read the poem, and sometimes I'd find a line I really enjoyed, but because I'm not someone who connects with poetry much anyways, didn't really do much for me. However, it does make me want to go watch all of those movies and then read the corresponding poem right after I've finished the movie, so maybe that's a project for the future. Who knows? Good morning. I got up early. Well, early. I got up early enough that there's not a lot of people walking around, so A, I can walk around without having to bring my mask with me because I always bring my mask when I go to populated places, but because this area, I rarely see people at this time of day. It's fine. I don't need to wear it. And two, because uh, it's going to be hot as balls today and uh, this is the only time of day I can go outside and not be eaten by mosquitoes and not die a million little heat-related deaths, so we're doing it. I'm still listening to A Beautifully Foolish Endeavor, very much enjoying it. I love knowing the little things that I can tell are from Hank's personal experience just being thrown in there. I love picking up on those, it's just very cool. Also today, I was offered the opportunity to get a net galley of a Nerdfighteria-based book, and I am so excited to read that. It helps my walking motivation that this is the view that I get uh, near the end of it, which is such a great payoff. So I don't always do like the Instagram challenges mostly because I'm not a great photographer, um, but the one for today was to cosplay a book character, and I was like, well, I'm going to need a book character that's a sweaty, hot mess. Uh, but fortunately, on Saturday, I read An Embarrassment of Witches, and the main character is basically the embodiment of that, so that's what I did. <laughs> As though I don't have enough to do this week, I also decided I was going to do the Racing to Read book tag, because why not? So I just filmed that. I'm going to try to do some editing before I've got a previous engagement that I need to attend to. Hi YouTube, it's Kathy, and I'm here to do the Racing to Read book tag, which is the book tag that the Reading Rush has put out this week, because obviously I needed to add another thing to this very busy week. Okay, so I watched an episode of Luke Cage with my long-distance roommate. I technically still pay rent there, but I ceded the apartment to him because COVID and he's high risk, so we hang out by watching TV together, essentially. And I finished that video. It's up, it's captioned, it's live into the world. I can finally get on to doing some more reading. I think that today I'm going to prioritize is only mostly devastated which is a Greece retelling and last night I didn't update you on this but I did read the first short story in No Man of Woman Born which is my short story collection for the week I think I'm going to try to read about a story every day for that just to keep it going and I figure between that and listening to Hank Green's book it's going to feel like I only have a couple more things to read which is just very exciting because I love winning readathons since I've never actually read a synopsis of this book I either forgot or had no idea that it's a male male romance and I am so excited. So a lot of Only Mostly Devastated has to deal with 
Ollie's family and the reason why he's staying where he was just supposed to be summering was because, rude, his aunt is sick. And there have been a couple of times where she's been like, I might not be around, and then I just start crying. So that's a thing that's happening in this Grease retelling. Good morning! It's Wednesday. This morning I finished Only Mostly Devastated before I got out of bed. Very much enjoyed it. Like any good retelling, it takes little hints and clues from the original, kind of sprinkles them in there, but then enhances the plot, which I just really enjoyed. I really enjoyed getting to know more of these characters' backstories and all that type of thing, so I can highly highly recommended that one. Today is the day that the cars are loud. That's every day. Today is the day that I get to see my best friend for the first time since February? We live in the same city, but because of COVID, we've been keeping to ourselves, and because she's basically done nothing but stay in her apartment all this time, except for when going for walks, and because I've basically done the same, we're going to hang out today, and I'm very excited. Of course, this does mean this drastically cuts down my reading time, but she is worth it. We had a lovely visit. I didn't tape any of it because I don't do that. That would be weird. Although I did take a couple clips of her pets just because I missed her pets. Uh, now I'm gonna go grocery shopping, go home, and have my weekly bath and beer and book time, which is gonna be lovely. I haven't decided what I'm going to read. I'll probably read the other F word just because it's the only physical book on my TBR. Thursday. I read about maybe a third of that book in the bathtub last night. I also read another one of the short stories in No Man of Woman Born, and I'm working on another one right now. I did my reading for Outside of the Reading Rush, which is my reread of Me and White Supremacy. And my friend Shelly is hosting a virtual read-in on YouTube in about 20 minutes, so that's good because that'll get me to just sit down and just focus on my reading because I've had this problem in the last day or so where I try to read and then I get really sleepy and want to have a nap, which is super not helpful when you're just trying to get through some pages. That's the live stream done. It was fun. I read more of the other F word and now I'm going to lay in the library and do the same because this is cozier and hopefully the caffeine just keeps me awake because as soon as I get cozy I want to have a nap. I'm like, no, I want to read. Why won't you let me read? Also my best friend gave me these pajama pants yesterday when I saw her and they are the softest things of all time. I finished the other F word just in time because now I have wine, I have fruit, I have Canada's Drag Race. God damn, I really wish we weren't in a pandemic so I would feel okay about going to a viewing party because obviously there's one right in my city with my friend Jimbo, but that's not a thing I'm comfortable going to because no, I do not want to be around more than like my roommates, so it's not happening. <laughs> Good morning, it's Friday. I've already been for a walk so that I could listen to more of a beautifully foolish endeavor and things happened and I was very excited about them, but it's a sequel so I'm not going to tell you anything about it. Uh, I also got back just in time to catch my friend George did a premiere on his channel where he was putting on a drag look and talking about his book that's coming out next month that I love and I'm actually doing a live show with him on the 5th of August I believe it is. I'll link that down below where I'm interviewing him about his book the day before his book officially comes out. So go on over and set a reminder for that. So my plan to read one short story from No Man of Woman Born a day didn't really work out because I I fell behind on it, so I think that my plan right now is to finish that today, try to listen to as much of my audiobook as I can outside, and then tomorrow I work and the next day I also work. My reading weeks are also Sunday to Saturday, so I like to finish on Saturday so I can do a full wrap-up. There is one other book technically on my TBR, but it's for kind of a prank challenge because the whole reading a whole book outside your house thing made my friend Natasha tweet uh, that there are some different challenges, like reading the room. So as a joke, I put anxious people on my list, which is a locked room murder mystery type of thing, which I do really want to read, but I think that I am going to aim to finish it by Sunday and it'll be included in the following wrap up, which means that I don't know if it's going to make it into this vlog or not, just depending on when I need to put it up so it can count for the challenge all that type of jazz. I've now finished five of my books and I realized I finished the seven main challenges which makes me very happy. I'm still gonna finish um, Hank's book 
because I'm very much enjoying it. I'm still going to try to read Anxious People, whether or not I finish this it, this week. Who cares? I've done the seven main challenges. That's exciting. Good morning. It's Saturday and it feels really weird to try to talk to you through a mask, but I'm going to do it because I'm in public. I have to work today. I work a retail job, so I'm going to do that and that's where I am, sort of. I went to bed really early last night because I was very tired, but I did happen to read like four chapters of Anxious People and I'm really enjoying it. I'm also very close to the end of A Beautifully Foolish Endeavor, and I actually went to my local bookstore and bought a copy full price, which in Canada is $36 plus tax, so you know I like it if I'm gonna pay full price hardcover money for it. There probably won't be that much content today because I'm at work. Work is over, this lighting is probably terrible, but I just wanted to update you that I absolutely loved A Beautifully Foolish Endeavor. It was so good. I'm going to go back through the duology and tap it, which is literally something I've never done before, but I am very excited to do. At this point, I have finished six books. That seems like enough, although there is a badge for finishing seven books. I've already read eight books this week because I read two on Sunday before the readathon started, but I think I might, if I get home and I feel like it, read another comic book just just to get that other badge. We'll find out. Hello! In a stunning turn of events, I got home, I had dinner, and while I was having dinner, instead of reading a book, I decided to watch Paris is Burning because I finally found access to it. I've been wanting to watch it for ages. I now know that half of the things that RuPaul says on Drag Race are quotes from that. And I have a newfound appreciation for the show Pose because they did a very good job putting that show together based on this documentary. That does mean I won't be eligible for these seven books during the Reading Rush badge, but you know what? I have a lot of badges. It's okay if I don't have that one. I also have to film my weekly wrap-up tonight because tomorrow I work. I haven't worked a Sunday in literal years, but because I work tomorrow I can't film tomorrow so I gotta film it tonight, so I'm going to wrap this up here. If you participated in the Reading Rush, how did it go for you? Let me know about it down in the comments below. On the way down to the comments, if you hit that subscribe button, that would be very nice of you. If you don't feel like leaving a comment but want to make sure that I know you are here, just leave me an emoji or a smiley face if you're on your keyboard. Some of you asked if there's a way to financially support me, so I set up a coffee account, which is a digital tipping service. There's also a link to my PayPal and my Amazon wish list down below. You can like and share this as you see fit, and I will see you very soon. Bye.